Section 1 Introduction In this introduction, we highlight the crucial role of effective uncertainty expression in both human intelligence and machine-human interaction. Being able to accurately determine a model's confidence level is important for making informed decisions, assessing risk, and minimizing errors, particularly in natural language generation tasks. Until now, extracting confidence from machine learning models has largely been based on model logits and related calibration techniques. But when it comes to language models, LLMs, logits have limitations. They often suggest overconfidence and focus on predicting the next token, rather than evaluating the reliability of a statement, an essential feature in human-like responses. In practice, this means that when generating a report, it would be beneficial for the model to clarify the reliability of its statements explicitly, which isn't something logits easily allow. Another challenge is that advanced, closed-source LLMs like GPT-3.5 and GPT-4 only accept text inputs and outputs, and don't provide access to their logits or embeddings. These obstacles underline the need for alternative ways to elicit uncertainty in LLMs, something known as confidence elicitation. However, the research in this area is still developing and current methods, such as training external calibrators or fine-tuning the model, don't directly provide confidence levels to users. To address this research gap, we focus on two main objectives. First, we explore ways of eliciting confidence that don't need model fine-tuning or access to proprietary information. Second, we perform a comparative analysis of these methods to understand which ones can offer the most accurate uncertainty estimates, or confidence levels. There are two key factors in LLMs for measuring a model's uncertainty, the text the model produces and the consistency across multiple responses to the same question. First, the impressive verbal abilities of recent LLMs like GPT-4 have created exciting opportunities for directly eliciting model uncertainty using verbal prompts. In line with this, we examine several prompting strategies that could enhance verbalized confidence, including the chain of thought, top K, and a newly proposed multi-step method. Next, we adapt ensemble-based approaches for LLMs and study two consistency-based methods that differ in how they generate multiple responses. In a combined approach, we propose hybrid methods that leverage both consistency-based methods and verbalized confidence to extract more detailed confidence information from the model. We then carry out a comprehensive evaluation of these methods using four LLMs, GPT-3, GPT-3.5, GPT-4, and Vicuña, and five benchmark datasets, common sense, arithmetic, symbolic, ethics, and professional knowledge. Despite considerable progress in many areas, our research indicates that LLMs tend to be overly confident when expressing their confidence verbally. This could pose potential risks when deploying LLMs safely. However, we also found that several prompting strategies can better extract verbalized confidence. The experimental results also show that consistency-based methods perform better than their standard verbalized counterparts, with hybrid methods delivering the best performance in most cases. This reinforces the idea that a combination of verbalized confidence and consistency can provide more accurate confidence assessments in LLMs. Despite our findings, we note that the methods we present still struggle with challenging tasks, particularly those requiring professional knowledge. This underlines the ongoing need for more research and development in the area of confidence elicitation for LLMs. Section Summary The ability to express and communicate uncertainty is a key aspect of human intelligence, and reliable uncertainty estimates are crucial for human-machine collaboration. However, existing methods for eliciting confidence from machine learning models, such as using model logits, have limitations. This study explores non-logit-based approaches for eliciting uncertainty in language models, including verbalized confidence and consistency-based methods, and proposes hybrid methods that combine both indicators. The experimental results demonstrate that combining verbalized confidence and consistency represents a promising avenue for attaining more accurate confidence assessments in language models, but further research is needed for challenging tasks. Section 2 Related Works Our focus in this section is to discuss existing work and approaches related to the process of calibration in modern neural networks. These networks are often found to be ill-calibrated, exhibiting a tendency towards overconfidence. The aim of calibration is to correct this by syncing the network's confidence level with the actual accuracy of samples that share the same confidence level. In order to achieve this balance, researchers have proposed a variety of methods. Broadly speaking, these can be classified into two types, scaling-based methods and binning-based methods. We can see the impact of these techniques in the field of large language models, LLMs, where studies have been conducted to calibrate generative language models like T5, BART, and GPT-2. It was found that the probabilities these models gave in question-answering tasks weren't well-balanced, indicating poor calibration. Interestingly, 
Other research shows that pre-trained language models, PLMs, also have calibration issues. However, it was also observed that pre-training processes tend to improve their calibration. On a different note, another study examined the calibration of LLMs, particularly models with a wide range of parameter sizes, from 800 million to 50 billion. The results showed that the larger models were well calibrated when tackling multiple choice and true, false questions, given that these questions were formatted correctly. Nonetheless, it's important to note that these evaluations primarily focus on probabilities derived from an aspect of the models called logits. This poses a problem when dealing with closed source LLMs, like GPT 4, where logits are inaccessible. The challenges we've encountered with model fine tuning and accessing model logits or embeddings drive us to explore and study confidence elicitation methods that circumvent these issues. Section Summary The section discusses the issue of poor calibration in modern neural networks, which leads to overconfidence. Various methods have been proposed to address this issue, including scaling based and binning based methods. The calibration of generative language models such as T5, BART, and GPT2 is investigated, and it is found that these models are not well calibrated. Pre-training improves model calibration, and larger models appear to be well calibrated on multiple choice and true, false questions. However, closed source LLMs like GPT-4 lack access to model logits or embeddings, which motivates the study of confidence elicitation methods that do not require model fine-tuning. Section. Confidence elicitation in LLMs. We're diving into the topic of confidence elicitation within large language models, or LLMs for short. This term refers to the act of figuring out how confident these models are about the answers they provide, without having to tweak the models or access their internal proprietary data. We're introducing the idea of verbalized confidence, a method that encourages the model to directly share its confidence levels. However, current evaluations mainly focus on language models that have been fine tuned on specific datasets, leaving the performance of verbalized confidence in zero shot scenarios largely unexplored. Some have suggested using an external calibrator which relies on model representations that are not easily accessible. Others have looked at how confidence affects the instructions given to the model but didn't provide direct confidence to the users. Our research closely aligns with a concurrent study that also emphasizes on verbalized methods. Yet, our approach stands apart as we look into a broader range of methods. We introduce two additional categories, consistency-based methods and their hybrid variants, which have shown to outperform a common strategy called the top K prompting strategy. Moreover, our research expands beyond the scope of the RLHFLMs, primarily focused on in the concurrent study. We're investigating a wider variety of models, allowing us to examine the impacts of different model sizes and structures. In our findings, we highlight that hybrid methods set a strong baseline in this field. Yet, it's important to note that all methods still face hurdles when it comes to more complex tasks. Our work contributes to a comprehensive understanding of confidence elicitation in this field. Section Summary the section discusses confidence elicitation in LLMs, which estimates confidence levels without fine-tuning or accessing proprietary information. The proposed concept of verbalized confidence elicits the model to output confidence directly, but its zero-shot verbalized confidence remains unexplored. The study explores a broader method space, introducing two additional categories, consistency-based methods and their hybrid variants, which outperform the top-K prompting strategy proposed in a concurrent study. Section. Three confidence elicitation methods. In this section, we're taking a closer look at various methods for eliciting confidence from models, along with introducing some of our own. A detailed illustration of all these methods is included in the associated figure. Generally, we use two main indicators to evaluate a model's uncertainty, the textual response it generates and the uniformity of multiple responses to the same query. Based on these signals, we've grouped the methods into three categories. One, verbalized confidence, which directly prompts the model to indicate its confidence level. 2. Consistency-based methods, which generate several responses and interpret their uniformity as an indicator of confidence. 3. Hybrid methods, which pull together data from both above-mentioned sources. Importantly, none of these methods require tweaking the model or needing proprietary data from large language models, LLMs, like embeddings or logits. Firstly, let's consider verbalized confidence. The text a model generates can tell us a lot about its level of uncertainty, essentially giving us insight into how confident it is in its predictions. For instance, if a model responds to a question in a straightforward and precise manner, it's a sign of high confidence. On the other hand, if the response is vague or indirect, it suggests that the model may not be very certain about its prediction. 
Advancements in LLMs, like GPT-4, have improved their verbal abilities, which has opened an exciting avenue to elicit model uncertainty through verbal prompts. This approach is similar to how we elicit uncertainty from human experts, such as doctors, by asking them to voice their confidence in their suggestions. This practice has been widely studied across multiple fields, including statistics, psychology, and behavioral economics. It could allow LLMs to integrate uncertainty at the claim level into their generated responses. For instance, if a language model is not sure about its response, it could inform the user by saying something like, I am only 20% confident in this answer. In this research, we're exploring ways to prompt LLMs to express their confidence verbally. We're investigating four types of verbalized confidence that differ based on the prompting strategies they employ. Vanilla verbalized confidence, chain of thought based verbalized confidence, multi-step verbalized confidence, and top K verbalized confidence. Section summary. In this section, the authors discuss three categories of confidence elicitation methods, verbalized confidence, consistency-based methods, and hybrid methods. Verbalized confidence relies on the textual output of the model to indicate its level of certainty, and the authors explore four different forms of verbalized confidence. This approach could enable language models to express their uncertainty at the claim level, similar to how human experts express their confidence in their suggestions. Section. Vanilla verbalized confidence. In its simplest form, when we want to capture the level of confidence of a language model, we ask it directly. We encourage the model to give a confidence score between 0% to 100%. Here's how we phrase it. Question. The actual question goes here, along with any available choices. Please give an answer to this question and indicate how sure you are about it. Remember, your confidence level should reflect how certain you are about your response, and it should be given as a percentage. Answer in confidence, 0 100. In response to this prompt, the language model not only provides an answer but also quantifies its confidence level. For instance, it may respond with, D, 90%, I am fairly sure of my answer, although I recognize that there might be a chance of misunderstanding the question or the provided options. But what if we could enhance the confidence level further by incorporating reasoning into the process? That's where the chain of thought, caught, method comes in. This strategy has proven to be effective in fostering reasoning processes in language models, consequently improving the accuracy of responses across various datasets. Taking cues from successful implementations, we've found that by simply adding, let's think step by step, to the prompt, language models are encouraged to elaborate on their thought process. From this, we've introduced and are currently assessing the effectiveness of the zero-shot cot-based method for verbalizing confidence. Section Summary the section discusses two approaches to elicit verbalized confidence from language models. The first approach involves directly requesting a confidence score ranging from 0% to 100%, while the second approach leverages the chain of thought prompting strategy to induce reasoning processes in language models and enhance model accuracy. The latter approach is evaluated in the paper as zero-shot cot-based verbalized confidence. Section. Multi-step verbalized confidence. In our study, we noticed a recurring issue of overconfidence in the conventional way of expressing confidence levels verbally. This observation, which can be seen in our preliminary findings, as indicated. In the provided figure, led us to wonder whether dissecting the reasoning process into separate steps and gauging the confidence in each step could help mitigate this overconfidence and improve the overall quality of expressed confidence. We hypothesize that a more in-depth understanding of the confidence tied to each reasoning step could potentially enable a more precise and nuanced expression of uncertainty. To investigate this, for each question presented, we prompt our models to fragment their reasoning process into separate, individual steps. The particular prompt that we used in our experiments is supplied in the reference table. Let's say each step in this process is represented as S underscore I, with I being the index of the step. For every step, S underscore I, we then ask the model to generate a corresponding confidence level, C underscore I. This indicates how much the model believes that this particular step is correct. Next, we calculate an overall verbalized confidence measure, labeled as C underscore multi-step. We do this by combining the confidence levels from each individual step. In other words, C underscore multi-step equals to the aggregation of all individual confidence levels, C underscore zero, C underscore one, C underscore N one. Here, n is the total number of reasoning steps in the process. In this study, we opted for a multiplication approach to aggregate individual confidence levels. This means that our multi-step confidence level, C underscore multi-step, is the product of the confidence levels of all steps from the first, I equals zero, to the last, I equals N1. Section summary. 
The authors aim to improve the quality of verbalized confidence by breaking down the reasoning process into steps and extracting the confidence of each step. They believe that gaining insight into the confidence associated with each reasoning step could lead to a more precise and nuanced articulation of uncertainty. The overall verbalized confidence measure is computed by aggregating the confidence levels from each individual step using a product aggregation method. Section. Top K Verbalized Confidence. We're going to delve into the concept of Top K Verbalized Confidence and Consistency-Based Confidence. Both are effective strategies used to understand and express the certainty of a large language model's predictions. The top K verbalized confidence method encourages the model to propose the top K possibilities for a specific query. Each of these predictions is coupled with a percentage value, ranging from 0% to 100%, that represents how confident the model is in that specific guess. The prediction with the highest associated probability is chosen as the final answer, and its corresponding probability percentage is then considered the final verbalized confidence. The specifics of this process can be found in appendix table. Next, we have the consistency-based confidence method. This method evaluates how consistent a model's multiple answers are for the same question. It builds upon ideas used extensively in methodologies that estimate uncertainty based on the model's output values, logits, such as MC dropout and deep ensemble. However, our focus is not on models that output logits, but on large language models. In this context, we generate several answers for a single question, then assess the consistency among these responses to determine the model's confidence. We experiment with various methods to sample these multiple responses, all of them centered around the idea of consistency. These methods can either involve adding randomness to the model's process of generating answers, self-consistency, or by inserting hints into the prompt that might lead the model astray, induced consistency. Section Summary The paper discusses two methods for estimating the confidence of language models. The first method prompts the model to generate the top K guesses for a given question, with the guess assigned the highest probability serving as the final answer and its associated probability serving as the final verbalized confidence. The second method involves generating multiple responses for a given question and using the consistency among these answers to estimate the model's confidences, with various approaches to sampling multiple responses. Section. Self-consistency confidence. We're here to discuss the concept of self-consistency confidence. Originally, self-consistency was introduced as a strategy to improve the accuracy of a model's predictions. But upon delving deeper, we discovered that these methods essentially play the role of estimating the uncertainty based on an ensemble. In other words, they're calculating the probabilities linked to each potential outcome. This aligns perfectly with our objective of determining the level of uncertainty in our model, and so, we've chosen to use self-consistency as a method to assess confidence. Here's how it works. For any given question and its corresponding answer, let's call this the original answer, we create a group of possible answers. We follow a certain approach to gather multiple potential answers, using the same initial input and setting the model's temperature, a parameter controlling the randomness of predictions, to be greater than zero. We then assess the degree of agreement between these potential answers and the original answer, using this as a measure of confidence. To break it down, we calculate the average number of times the candidate answers match the original one. This score, referred to as the consistency score, evaluates how much the potential responses agree with each other and encapsulates the inherent uncertainty of the model's output. In this way, it acts as a stand-in for the model's confidence in its original answer. Section Summary The self-consistency method was initially proposed to improve model accuracy, but it also estimates the probability associated with each response, making it a useful tool for estimating model uncertainty. By constructing a set of candidate answers and measuring their agreement with the original answer, we can compute a consistency score that serves as a measure of confidence and integrates the model's inherent uncertainty. Section. Induced consistency confidence. Our discussion now shifts to a concept we call induced consistency confidence. Earlier, we talked about the method of self-consistency, where we measure the confidence of a model by asking it the same question multiple times. However, another technique exists that might trigger more diverse responses from the model. Here, we pose the same question to the model but we do so in different ways. This method takes its cue from how humans behave in the face of uncertainty. When asked a question, we humans might respond with a lot of confidence. But, if someone throws in a misleading hint, we might re-evaluate our answer and our level of certainty. Our response might even change. This human behavior serves as our inspiration for this approach. Drawing a parallel to the model, if it's sure about its answer, it sticks to it, even if we give it misleading information. 
However, if the model isn't very confident about its answer, it could be swayed by these deceptive hints and might alter its original answer. We propose that the effort it takes to make the model change its output, when faced with misleading hints, is a reflection of the model's confidence level. This method is a cousin to the self-consistency approach. The primary difference lies in how we create the prompts and how we adjust the temperature parameter. For each potential output, we come up with a deceptive hint at random using a predetermined template. We then set the temperature to zero, which is the same setting we use when generating the original answer. You can refer to our table for the full list of prompts. Section summary. The induced consistency confidence method involves asking a model a question in different ways to induce greater variation and assess its confidence. This approach is inspired by human behavior in the face of uncertainty, where misleading hints can prompt reassessment of reasoning and confidence. The method closely mirrors the self-consistency method, with a key distinction in the generation of prompts and the setting of the temperature parameter. Section 3.3 Hybrid Approach Integrating Verbalized Confidence and Consistency-Based Confidence In Section 3.3, we delve into the advantages of adopting a hybrid approach that leverages both verbalized confidence and consistency-based confidence. Our motivation is to examine the potential symbiosis between these two distinct measures of uncertainty, to find out whether they can enhance each other's effectiveness. We introduce a novel method known as the verbalized consistency confidence, aiming to harness the best of both worlds. The rationale behind this hybrid approach stems from the observation that neither verbalized confidence nor consistency-based measures alone are entirely adequate in pinpointing the true uncertainty underlying a model's prediction. We have two main reasons for this. Firstly, language models often express an overconfidence when verbalizing their confidence, a phenomenon we will discuss in detail later. Secondly, consistency-based methods may not successfully pick up on subtle differences, which can lead to miscalibration. To better understand this, let's imagine a situation where the model erroneously but confidently delivers an answer, asserting a certainty of 100%. Despite multiple perturbations, the model's answer remains the same, leading to a consistency-based confidence score of 100%. However, if we observe the verbalized confidence scores among the multiple answers, we can see a reduction in confidence due to the perturbations, indicating that the model's certainty might not be as high as initially claimed, i.e., 100%. Therefore, by harmonizing verbalized confidence and consistency-based measures, we are better equipped to gauge the model's actual confidence. Section Summary The section discusses the limitations of relying solely on either verbalized confidence or consistency-based methods to estimate a model's confidence in its outputs. The authors propose a new approach, called verbalized consistency confidence, that combines the strengths of both methods to better estimate the model's confidence. By integrating both verbalized confidence and consistency, the authors argue that they can better capture the true underlying uncertainty of the model's prediction. Section. Method. In our method, we start with a sample that has an original response denoted as Y underscore zero, and a corresponding level of confidence, signified as P underscore zero. To refine this answer, we apply consistency-based confidence techniques such as self-consistency or induced consistency. This yields a set of potential responses, which we represent as y underscore 1 to y underscore k. We then engage the model to assign a level of confidence, designated as p underscore 1 to p underscore k, to each of these candidate answers. For each potential answer, we follow one of two paths. 1. If the candidate response matches the original response, we adjust the original confidence level p underscore zero by integrating the confidence level p underscore i of the candidate response. We calculate the average of p underscore i and p underscore zero and take the absolute value. This becomes the new confidence for y underscore i if it matches y underscore zero. 2. On the other hand, if the candidate response is different from the original response, we want to discourage this deviation. We use the confidence level p underscore i of the candidate response as a penalty. Essentially, this reflects the model's decision to change its answer and its corresponding lack of confidence in the original response. Here, we calculate the difference between 1 and p underscore i and take the absolute value. This becomes the new confidence for y underscore i if it differs from y underscore 0. Finally, we evaluate the average contribution from all the potential responses, which we'll refer to as the hybrid confidence score. This score serves as an adjustment for the model's confidence levels using the potential answers. This process ensures a more accurate reflection of the model's confidence. The associated figure in the paper provides a visual representation of this method. Section Summary The method involves computing a set of candidate answers and their associated verbalized confidence for a given sample. 
If a candidate answer is the same as the original answer, the original confidence is updated by incorporating the verbalized confidence of the candidate answer. If the candidate answer is different from the original answer, the update is defined as the verbalized confidence of the candidate answer. Finally, the average contribution from all candidate answers is computed as the final confidence score, which acts as an adjustment for the model's verbalized confidence. Section, Datasets. We assess the reliability of confidence scores across various cognitive tasks, presented as follows. 1. Common sense reasoning. This was tested using two benchmarks, specifically, sports understanding, and strategy QA, both derived from the big bench collection. 2. Arithmetic reasoning. We used two mathematical challenges, namely, GSM-8K and SVAMP, for this purpose. 3. Symbolic reasoning. Two benchmarks were employed here, date understanding and object counting, sourced from the big bench repository. 4. Professional knowledge. We used tasks such as professional law from the MMLU collection. 5. Ethical knowledge. We tested this aspect with tasks including business ethics from the MMLU collection. When it comes to evaluation metrics, we stick to the standards set in previous assessments. We primarily rely on confidence calibration and failure prediction metrics to gauge the reliability of the estimated confidence scores. The expected calibration error, ECE, measures the variance between predicted probabilities and actual accuracy at each confidence level. It helps to check how closely the predicted confidence aligns with real-world results, enabling its use in risk assessment tasks. The area under the receiver operating characteristic curve, AUROC or ROC, evaluates the ability of the confidence score to distinguish between correct and incorrect instances. The area under the precision recall curve, AUPRC, tests the capacity to identify correct samples, referred to as AUPRC positive, or PRP, as well as incorrect samples, termed AUPRC negative, or PRN. To summarize, the calibration metric, ECE, checks how closely the estimated confidence aligns with the actual uncertainty, while the failure detection metrics, AUROC and AUPRC, assess whether the confidence score can successfully differentiate between correct and incorrect responses. Section Summary The quality of confidence estimates is evaluated across various reasoning. Tasks, including common sense, arithmetic, symbolic, professional, and ethical knowledge. The evaluation metrics used are expected calibration error, ECE, area under the receiver operating characteristic curve, AUROC, and area under the precision recall curve, AUPRC, which measure the alignment of confidence scores with ground truth uncertainty and the ability to differentiate correct and incorrect answers. Section, Models. In our experiments, we've utilized a variety of popular large language models, or LLMs, of varying sizes. These include the Vicuña model, as well as GPT-3, GPT-3.5 Turbo, and GPT-4. The smallest of these, Vicuña, boasts 13 billion parameters, while GPT-3 has a whopping 175 billion. Both GPT-3.5 and GPT-4 are even more extensive. Vicuña is a more compact model that has been finely tuned using the LAMA dataset. Let's talk about how we implemented our tests. We used the COT prompt to generate each response based on consistency. We also use this method for our hybrid approach, which takes into account both the consistency and verbalized confidence. If you're curious about the specific prompts we used, you can refer to the table included in the original paper. When it comes to determining self-consistency confidence, we repeated the sampling process five times and followed a specific setting, known as the temperature hyperparameter, of 0.7. Now, on to the evaluation and analysis of our methods. We examined their effectiveness across four different LLMs, GPT-3, GPT-3.5, GPT-4 and Vicuña, and five diverse datasets. Our investigation led us to a few key findings. 1. These large language models generally exhibit a tendency to overstate their confidence when expressing it verbally. 2. Certain strategies, like the cut method, top-k confidences, and multi-step confidences, can enhance the accuracy of this verbalized confidence. 3. Generally, methods based on consistency perform better than those based solely on verbalized confidence, especially when it comes to arithmetic tasks. 4. Hybrid methods, which take into account both consistency and verbalized confidence, improve the accuracy of both these approaches. They're especially effective in differentiating between correct and incorrect samples. 5. Despite these advancements, we notice that the methods we examine still struggle with particularly challenging tasks, like those that require expert knowledge. Section Summary 
The authors experimented with various large language models, LLMs, of different scales, including Vicuña, GPT-3, GPT-3.5 Turbo, and GPT-4, and found that LLMs tend to be overconfident when verbalizing their confidences. They introduced prompting strategies such as COT, Top K confidences, and multi-step confidences to improve calibration of verbalized confidence, and consistency-based methods outperformed verbalized baselines in most cases. Hybrid methods further improved the calibration of both consistency and verbalized baselines, particularly in distinguishing between correct and incorrect samples. However, current methods still face challenges at difficult tasks such as those requiring professional knowledge. Section. Significant miscalibration observed in vanilla verbalized confidence. Dot. We've noticed considerable discrepancies in the basic verbalized confidence measurements. In the table, we assess the performance of basic verbalized confidence across four different models, considering eight distinct tasks. Cases where the average values deviated substantially from optimal performance are highlighted with a gray background. These deviations are based on the following benchmarks. Expected calibration error, ECE, scores surpassing 0.25, an area under the receiver operating characteristics curve, AUROC, area under the precision recall curve for positive instances, AUPRC positive, an area under the precision recall curve for negative instances, AUPRC negative, scores falling below 0.6. It's clear from the table that the ECE is particularly high for models such as GPT-3, GPT-3.5, and Vicuña. For instance, the average ECE across all eight tasks exceeds 37%. This suggests that these language models are not well calibrated. While GPT-4 displays consistently lower ECE, it still grapples with low AUROC and AUPRC negative scores, with an average AUROC of only 62.7%. This indicates a struggle to distinguish between correct and incorrect samples. However, basic verbalized confidence seems to improve as the models increase in capabilities. Comparing the performance across these different models reveals a distinct trend. There is a noticeable reduction in ECE as we move from GPT-3, through Vicuña, GPT-3.5, and onto GPT-4. Alongside this, we see an approximate improvement of 22.2% in AUROC from GPT-3 to GPT-4. This indicates that GPT-4 tends to display better confidence in its predictions compared to the less advanced models. Section Summary The section discusses the miscalibration observed in vanilla verbalized confidence across four language models and eight tasks. The table shows that GPT-3, GPT-3.5, and Vicuña have high ECE scores, indicating poor calibration, while GPT-4 has a lower ECE score and better AUROC, suggesting better confidence elicitation quality compared to smaller models. Section. Verbalized confidences predominantly fall within the 80% to 100% range. Dot. The models we're examining, particularly the GSM-8K model, tend to express confidence levels primarily between 80% and 100%. We derived this information from a detailed graph in the first row of a figure. Additional results from other datasets and models can be found in an appendix figure. What's interesting here is that these models frequently choose multiples of 5 when providing confidence levels. This pattern closely mimics human behavior, as people usually express confidence in multiples of 5, with 95% being the most commonly used percentage. This suggests that the models may be imitating human trends when it comes to verbalizing their confidence. However, these models appear to be displaying overconfidence. In an ideal scenario, a well-adjusted model would align its confidence scores with the accuracy of its responses. To clarify, if a large language model, LLM, provides an incorrect answer, it should correspondingly express a low level of confidence. Conversely, if the answer is correct, the LLM should display a high level of confidence. But as shown in the graph, when the models express confidence levels between 80% and 100%, the actual accuracy for those predictions is often significantly lower than 80%. If the models were well adjusted, the visual representation of the accuracy, marked by blue bars in our figure, should closely follow the diagonal dotted line. The current disparity suggests that the models are considerably overconfident. In summary, our findings point out that these language models' predictions tend to be poorly calibrated, with a consistent trend of overconfidence. This highlights an ongoing challenge for large language models, generating reliable, verbalized confidence levels. Section Summary The confidence distribution of GSM-8K model shows that most models tend to have high confidence for all samples, usually as multiples of 5 with most values falling within the 80% to 100% range. However, 
The accuracy of each bar ranging from 80% to 100% is much less than 80%, suggesting significant overconfidence in LLMs. This indicates that the predictions from all models are poorly calibrated and overconfident, which is a challenge faced by large language models in generating reliable verbalized confidence. Section. Multi-step and top-K prompting strategies demonstrate promising results in reducing ECE and improving AUROC, with top-K being relatively more effective. Dot. We have conducted experiments using different prompting strategies, such as multi-step and top-K, to evaluate their impact on two important metrics, expected calibration error, ECE, and area under the receiver operating characteristic, AUROC. These strategies aim to improve the model's performance by reducing overconfidence and encouraging the consideration of multiple possible answers. Figure X illustrates a comparison among three prompting strategies, COT, multi-step, and top-K, along with the baseline approach of using verbalized confidence alone. The average bar represents the mean value across five datasets. Both multi-step and top-K strategies effectively reduce ECE and enhance AUROC, indicating their success in improving the model's calibration and discriminative capabilities. Notably, TOP-K outperforms the other strategies in terms of performance improvements. The rationale behind the effectiveness of the TOP-K strategy lies in its ability to prompt the model to generate multiple guesses, each accompanied by a corresponding confidence score. This approach encourages the model to acknowledge the existence of various potential answers, preventing over-reliance on a single response and prompting the re-evaluation of given answers. On the other hand, the COT strategy yields mixed results. While it significantly reduces ECE, it also leads to a decrease in AUROC. When examining the individual dataset performances, we observe that COT achieves the lowest ECE scores in the GSM 8K and date understanding datasets. However, its impact on AUROC is negative, as it improves AUROC for the date understanding in strategy QA datasets but decreases it for GSM 8K, with minimal change observed for business ethics. We hypothesize that the performance improvement observed with COT is primarily driven by an increase in accuracy. To illustrate this, let's consider a hypothetical scenario where the verbalized confidence for all samples consistently sits at 90%. Despite this high confidence level, if the accuracy improves significantly from 0.28 to 0.9, the model's ECE would drop from 0.62 to 0, while the AUROC would remain unchanged. This scenario aligns with what we observe in the GSM 8K dataset, where the model's verbalized confidence has a slight variance but still falls within the range of 0.8 to 1.0, even as its accuracy increases significantly from 0.28 to 0.80. Section Summary Multi-step and top-K prompting strategies are effective in reducing ECE and improving AUROC, with top-K being relatively more effective. Top-K prompts the model to generate multiple guesses along with their corresponding confidences, preventing overconfidence in a single response and promoting re-evaluation of given answers. COT shows mixed results, significantly reducing ECE but also leading to a decrease in AUROC, and its impact on performance gain is largely driven by an increase in accuracy. Section. Consistency-based methods consistently outperform verbalized methods, with particularly notable improvements on the arithmetic task. Consistency-based methods consistently outperform verbalized methods, especially on the arithmetic task. Our results in table show that consistency-based methods outperform verbalized confidence, particularly on tasks such as GSM 8K, Date UND, Professional Law, and Business Ethics. The average performance in ECE, AUROC, and PRP further demonstrates the superiority of consistency-based confidence over verbalized confidence. Notably, the arithmetic dataset, GSM 8K, shows a significant improvement in AUROC, from 54.8%, similar to random guessing, to 92.7%. This improvement effectively distinguishes between incorrectly and correctly classified samples. It's important to mention that consistency-based methods require k times more computational time and resources compared to the COT version, where k represents the number of queries, responses, used in consistency computation. This means there's a trade-off between efficiency and effectiveness. For detailed experiments on the impact of the number of hints used and the prompt employed in induced consistency, please refer to the appendix. Section Summary Consistency-based methods outperform verbalized methods, especially on the arithmetic task, as shown in the table. The average performance in ECE, AUROC, and PRP further demonstrates the superiority of consistency-based confidence over verbalized confidence. However, the computational time and resources required for consistency-based methods are k times larger than the COT version, 
where k is the number of queries used in consistency computation, presenting a trade-off between efficiency and effectiveness. Section. Performance rank varies among consistency-based methods. Dot. The performance rank of consistency-based methods can vary. When comparing self-consistency and induced consistency, there are mixed results, and neither method consistently outperforms the other. On the GSM 8K dataset, self-consistency performs better than induced consistency, but on the strategy QA dataset, the opposite is true. However, for the other datasets, both methods produce similar results, indicating that their performance is comparable across different data environments. In section 5.4, we discuss hybrid approaches that achieve state-of-the-art results. Comparisons between verbalized methods, consistency-based methods, and hybrid methods, as shown in the table, demonstrate that most hybrid methods outperform their verbalized confidence and consistency-based counterparts. Specifically, hybrid, self-cons, and hybrid, induce, surpass the baselines in terms of both AUPRC positive and AUPRC negative metrics. This suggests that combining consistency-based and verbalized confidence methods can complement each other offering a promising direction for the development of reliable confidence elicitation methods. Furthermore, our hybrid method outperforms the promising baseline of top-K verbalized confidence. It achieves the best results in 13 out of 20 cases, establishing itself as the state-of-the-art approach. It is worth noting that a fairer comparison would involve incorporating the top-K prompting strategy within hybrid methods to leverage the improved verbalized confidence obtained from top-K. This is an area we plan to explore in future research. Section Summary. Consistency-based methods have varying performance ranks, with self-consistency outperforming induced consistency on the GSM 8K dataset, while induced consistency outperforms self-consistency on the strategy QA dataset. However, both methods yield comparable results on other datasets. Hybrid approaches combining consistency-based and verbalized confidence methods achieve state-of-the-art results, surpassing both verbalized and consistency-based methods alone, with hybrid, self-cons, and hybrid, induce, performing the best. Future work will explore the use of top-K prompting strategy within hybrid methods to further improve verbalized confidence. Section 5.5 Current methods still struggle at challenging tasks. In our current study, we observed that existing methods still face challenges when dealing with certain tasks. We evaluated the performance of these methods using various datasets, including an arithmetic dataset called GSM-8K. For the arithmetic dataset, our evaluation revealed that the expected calibration error, ECE, is relatively low at 0.0628, indicating a close approximation to optimal calibration, ECE equals O. Additionally, the area under the receiver operating characteristic curve, OROC, is high at 92.7%, suggesting a strong ability to distinguish between correctly and incorrectly classified samples. However, when it comes to datasets that require professional knowledge, such as the professional law dataset, the performance of the methods is suboptimal. The best performing ECE, achieved through the use of induced consistency in hybrid methods, is 0.128, which indicates a moderate level of miscalibration. Moreover, the AUROC is only 65.6%, which is close to the 50% associated with random guessing. The corresponding values of the area under the precision recall curve for the positive class, AUPRCP, and the negative class, AUPRCN, are also around 60% indicating a significant gap from optimal performance, AUPRCP, AUPRCN equals 100%. These findings demonstrate that while consistency-based methods show promising results in arithmetic reasoning tasks, they still struggle with tasks that require professional knowledge. Furthermore, when it comes to datasets that fall between arithmetic and professional law tasks, the performance of consistency-based and verbalized methods varies, with no single method consistently outperforming the others. This highlights the necessity for more effective and stable methods to address these challenges. Section Summary The consistency-based methods show promising results for arithmetic reasoning tasks with low ECE and high AUROC values. However, for tasks requiring professional knowledge, the performance remains suboptimal with moderate miscalibration and low AUROC values. The performance of consistency-based and verbalized methods is mixed for datasets falling between arithmetic and professional law tasks indicating the need for more effective and stable methods.